Arr, ahoy mates. This is Eternal Griff. Welcome aboard. Continuing adventures. Uh, as you can see, I am almost done with the Gold Hoarders faction. I've been playing this game long enough that I've completed almost every commendation there is to have for this faction except one. And that is to open 100 Gold Hoarder treasure vaults using a vault key. 58 of 100. I need 42 more. So tonight, I'm starting a brand new web series. 40 vaults in 40 days. Uh, here's the parameters. I'm going to open a vault. Spoiler alert. Uh, all I really care about is getting the chest of ancient tributes out of the, uh, out of the little secret compartment uh, and selling that at the Reaper's Hideaway because the other commendation I lack, or another commendation, commendation I lack, is selling these tribute chests to the Reaper's Bones. So I figured two birds, one stone. I don't really know how many of these you need, to be honest. As you can see, I'm nowhere near on Reapers like I am on Gold Hoarders. But 5 out of 10, I'm guessing it goes to either 50 or 100. If it's 50, then I might almost complete it. Um, and if it's 100, I'll be halfway there. So that's it. That's the whole series. We're going to see how long this takes. I've done this a couple of times, so I've done a few test runs, hopefully about an hour. Edit this down. Make a little YouTube magic. It's going to be great. What could possibly go wrong? We're off and running. Um, first, I need a vault voyage, don't I? Ha! Ah, I got one. This is effectively a vault, solo vault speed run. Uh, but I am, again, not going to attempt to get everything out of the vault. I might grab another, I don't know, chest or three, just because. But probably won't. Probably going to leave the whole vault. Except for the tribute chest. Uh, from the looks of the golden compass, I think it's going to be on Crook's Hollow. Okay, I also picked up a riddle for Crook's Hollow, but again, focus is entirely on the vault. Not worrying about anything else. Yeah, so just to answer a few questions, I have been at this game for about three years now. Uh, I think it's a little more than three years at this point. So that's how long it's taken me to get that close to done on just one faction. Uh, now again, the parameters are as many map pieces as I need to get the X. I'm not going to go for them all if I don't have to. If I'm doing this with the intent to make cash, gold, then I want to have a flag up and I want to get all the map pieces, even if I get the X first because it still raises the flag up uncover each one of those map pieces and believe it or not the vault alone won't always get you to a level 5 flag Looks like either Plunder Valley or Discovery Ridge. We have a sloop on the horizon. Uh, parameters of this here particular video are... It doesn't matter if I get sunk or not, obviously, because all that really matters is opening the vault. That's the number one goal. Basically, I got two stages of victory. Open vault is, is stage one. Tribute chest turned into Reapers is stage two. Everything else is secondary. Not really looking to get involved in anything here. Oh, what is that? Maybe a... An Athena is actually... That is Athena's, isn't it? Good for him. You go get that Athena's loot there, brother man. I need to bury a bunch of Athena's loot, actually, so it would actually behoove me to sink him and take his Athena's loot and bury it. But... 
I'm not going to worry about it right now. Have to focus. I only can do one of these a night, and only if I can do them fast enough. This whole series goes down the drain if I start getting distracted and taking hours and hours to complete my, uh, my objectives here. Check that X, huh? No, don't have it. All right, so next. I really don't like this island. This way, no, dead. It's very embarrassing. I let that part out. Uh, I'm very curious about that. Just a bunch of uh, crates from somebody fishing, huh? Still, gotta check it out. Oh, no, it's a bunch of... Oh, yeah, it's the Athenas. You popped. Hey, well, where's the stuff going? Plunder outpost? It's all plants, though. Yeah. Oh, well. It's worth a look. So while we're sailing about here, let's talk a little bit more about Eternal Griff. I am accommodations kind of guy. I got lots of commendations. Do PvP as part of the game, but I am definitely not one of these. I call them the PvP rats. The ones who, like, all they want to do is sail around and sink boats. That's not Eternal Griff. Nothing wrong with that. It's a perfectly legit way of playing the game. Just not my way of playing the game. I am, quite frankly, and quite proudly, a runner. You may have chased me more than once. If ever there was a brig that you approached thinking, aha, this will be an easy kill. And suddenly the sails dropped and off it went. And into the wind and never to be caught. It's probably Eternal Griff. Yep, I about sword dashed and I was like, mm, could have a keg. Better see him first. As you can tell, I am not the terror of the seas with the sword and gun. Oh my god, another one. But if there's one thing I can do, it's sail the boat. Oh jeez. I must dash right into that thing. Oh my god, I don't have a throw. Shit. Uh, but you know, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Maybe. Can Griff do this? No. <laughs> but there is Thieves Haven. Looks all clear at a very long distance. You have to be careful, noobs sometimes still park in the center of the island. Yeah, I said noobs. 
Perhaps you're thinking, hey Griff, I'm not a noob, and I park in the center of Thieves Haven all the time. Well, you have obviously never been boxed in by a boat and destroyed because you made the mistake of parking in the center of Thieves Haven. <gasps> There's a boat in there. No, it's just a wreck. No, 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 no. Hey, first try, what do you know? Alright, I'll have to mess with these guys. I can just get my chest and go. Actually, no, I'm just gonna pick up the key and go. Press an island, it is. Perfect. Again, I got two levels of victory possible here. Still haven't reached level one. But as soon as this sucker gets plugged in, it's a, it's it's victory. As long as I don't get sunk, stolen, whatever. Between now and Crescent, I'm good. If I can do this one a night in a little less time than it's been so far, <laughs> then I can do this. This is I was being very optimistic on my timing. And the wind's turning against me. What a shock. Boy, that never happens in Sea of Thieves. And here's the start of the adventure. For those of you who haven't done it yet, you've missed it. Because as of the recording of this video, it ends in 10 hours. Step one is about to be accomplished. Victory step two is get the get the uh, ancient tribute's chest and get it to uh, the the reaper's hideout. Nothing else matters. I'm gonna try and get this with just uh, two medallions. I think I can do that. I've done it before. I've seen it done. Let's get this thing off there so I can see. There's usually a medallion up right up here. Oh, there's one over there. Okay. Okay, this one. Take that jump. There it is. Saw another. Yeah, I thought I thought I looked right there. Oh, oh, it's right on the edge. Gotcha. All right, let's see if I can do it with two. Key is to not panic. Okay. Chest. Left key facing down. Left key facing down. There we go. All right, and then your choices over here are. No. No. It's gotta be that one, right? So I think that's already set. Can I be that lucky? Yeah, I could. Boom. Right, where's that daggum hideout? That's it right there. One thing you might have noticed is that I, I don't I don't say uh, like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. Uh, be sure to comment down below. I don't say any of that stuff. That's just not me. It's not a, it's not a griff kind of thing. Uh, I know I probably should, but I don't. Uh, but all kidding aside, do make sure you tell me how much I suck in the comments section. Because uh, I, I don't know and, unless you tell me. If you tell me that I know. And thanks everybody for watching. This has been fun. Took me a good 20 minutes or more longer than I would have liked on the first one. Maybe I can tighten it up for the next one. Uh, that's 41 to go. And that is... That's 41 to go and 6 of these turned in. 
I'm going to switch some parameters around as I do these over time, but the first couple will probably be just like this. And just be curious to see, can I get it in every time? Can I get that vault open every time? Will I get Kraken? Will I get Megalodon? Will I see the Shrouded Ghost? Uh, you know, it's like 40 in a row. Like, something crazy is bound to happen, right? It can't just be 40 incredibly boring episodes. It's got to be better over time, right? Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll catch you later.